is Teresa Crane with Outdoor Education Adventures. I am here to share a story with you today titled Mama Built a Little Nest by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. Mama built a little nest inside a sturdy trunk. She used her beak to tap, 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 the perfect place to bunk. Tree nests like this are also known as cavity nests, and they are created by both the male and female woodpecker. Mama built a little nest, a cup so wee and snug, with walls of moss and roof of sky and silky cobweb rug. Hummingbirds make the smallest cup-shaped nests and they use spider webs so the little nest will stretch as the chicks grow. Mama built a little nest. Well, actually, she didn't. She found one that another made, and then she laid me in it. Not all birds build nests. The cowbird, Wida, and cuckoo find a nest built by another bird species. They lay their egg in it and fly off leaving their eggs in the care of the bird who built the nest. Can you tell which egg is different? Mama built a little nest. My daddy helped out too. They placed my egg upon his feet. That's where I hatched and grew. The emperor penguins use living nests, the father penguin. The father uses his beak to roll the mother's egg upon his feet quickly so it doesn't freeze and carefully so it doesn't break. There it stays buried under his tummy folds for about 60 days, warm and protected. Mama scraped a simple nest upon a craggy ledge. She tucked me safe within her wings until my time to fledge. Certain birds, such as the falcon, create a nest called a scrape on a high cliff ledge. The mother and father may scrape away the ledge, creating a small indentation. Daddy built a little nest, and then he built another, and another, and another, hoping to impress my mother. Like many wrens, a cactus wren builds several dome-shaped nests to attract a female. If impressed, the female will choose one and then continue to add to its structure. Remaining nests may be used as resting places or roosts by the father and may also serve as decoys to confuse predators. How many nests do you see on this cactus? One, two. Mama built a little nest. She used her beak to sew a woven nest of silky grass, the perfect place to grow. Weaver birds create very detailed nests by sewing and weaving nesting material together. They pull grasses and fiber over, under, around, and through using only their beak and feet. Do you think you could build a nest with your mouth and your feet? Mama built a little nest by digging out a burrow. It was a hoot, our little home, a safe and feathery furrow. The burrowing owl nests underground in a burrow nest. It can dig its own burrow or use an abandoned burrow created by a mammal. Can you think of some mammals that dig holes and make nests underground? Mama built a little nest. She gathered twigs that float 
and placed them on the water to create a cozy boat. Grebes create a floating nest on the water and anchor it to the water plants. Would you like to have a bed on the water? Mama built a little nest. She made it on the ground. A simple nest, not very soft, with pebbles smooth and round. Many shorebirds create scrape nests on the ground. Their eggs often have colors and patterns to help camouflage them with their environment. Can you find the eggs in this picture? One, two, three. Daddy built a little nest, now don't gross out, with spit. Who would have thought that spit would make the perfect place to sit? The swiftlet makes an edible nest using tube-shaped saliva, which hardens as it dries in the air. Swiftlet nests are used in bird's nest soup, a Chinese delicacy. Mmm. Mama built a sealed nest within an old tree's hollow. My daddy left a little hole to pass her food to swallow. The hornbill makes a cavity nest inside a tree hollow. With the female inside and the male outside, both birds use mud and droppings to seal the cavity. A small hole is left open which the male uses to feed the female. She remains locked inside the nest to incubate their clutch. After the chicks have hatched, the female breaks out, helping the male feed and care for their young from the outside until the chicks are old enough to leave the nest. Mama built a sturdy nest by stacking twigs up high, a breezy house upon a tree where talons blend with sky. The male and female bald eagle build a stick nest called an airy. By gathering and layering many sticks, their nests are among the largest of all bird nests, usually five or six feet in diameter and two to four feet high. I wonder if you could build a nest like this with sticks in your yard, maybe on the ground. Might be fun to try. Mama built a little nest entirely out of mud. No feathery down, no soft green plants, just fuddy, cr muddy crud. The male and female flamingo build a mound-shaped nest on the ground using mud, inside which the female lays just one egg. You have a nest your very own, a place to rest your head with pillows soft and cozy thoughts. Your nest is called a bed. The end. Outdoor Education Adventures is a nonprofit outdoor science program based in Yamhill County, Oregon. If you enjoy our programs, please support us by following and liking us on your favorite social media outlet. To discover all of the programs we offer, please visit our website at outdoorededventures.com. Outdoorededventures.com. While you're there, we hope you'll consider making a small donation. Most of our funding comes from supporters like you, so please show us your appreciation of the work we do by making a donation today. To purchase a copy of the book we shared today, please contact your local bookstore. By shopping at your local stores, you are keeping your community economy sustainable and resilient. Thank you.